Okay, this is the solution to the extension pro, uh, problem on uh, homework number three. So it's, um, it sounds a little, it sounds pretty challenging, but if we kind of break it down and think about it, um, it might not be that bad. So I always recommend you take a stab at the extension problems. Um, you never know, sometimes they are converted into bonus problems on uh, tests or evaluations. So the problem is that we have a sample, we, we have some silver, and we know that the density of silver is uh, 10.5 grams per cubic centimeter. And then we have this other substance, benzene. Benzene is a very dangerous um, poison. And benzene happens to have a density of... Okay, a little bit of an interruption there. So back to it. So now we also know the density of benzene. Benzene is nearly a gas at room temperature. It's very, very light. It has a density of just 0.8786 grams per cubic centimeter. And we're told, what if we have a mass of benzene equal to 15.55 grams? How much, what would be the mass of the same amount of silver? So in both cases, we're missing the volumes. So if we're going to figure out the mass of silver that has the same amount of space as, a, as these 15.55 grams of benzene, we first have to figure out the volume of the benzene. Now, this takes a little bit of, a, of some tricky algebra here, and I'm not sure if we're all ready for it, which is why this is kind of like a bonus, whoops, which is why this is a really good bonus problem here. So it's got some good kind of um, some good algebra that you're going to be working on soon, if not already. So let's use our density formula. So remember, density equals mass divided by volume. So the density of benzene equals the mass of 15, ah, the mass of 15.55 grams divided by the volume, which we don't know. So to get that variable up out of there, we have to multiply both sides of the uh, equation by this variable. So whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. V over V, V divided by V is 1, so they cancel out. That leaves me with my 15.55 grams. And then this becomes a more, looks more like a regular algebraic equation because now 0.8786 grams per cubic centimeter times V is, so 8.8786 is my coefficient times V my variable. To get rid of that coefficient, it's multiplying, so the inverse is to divide. So whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I'm going to divide both sides by 8786 grams per cubic centimeter. 0.8786 grams per cubic centimeter. Now it's important that I wrote my units down every time because here it will help me to solve the problem and I'll know my units. So I see here that I have grams divided by grams, which is 1. And I'm left with cubic centimeters, which is a volume measure, which is good because that's what I'm looking for here. On this side, obviously, the whole thing cancels out, 0.876 grams per cubic centimeter divided by 0.8786 grams per cubic centimeters. Leaves me with my, what I'm hoping to solve for here, the volume. So volume will equal, and I'll pump this into my calculator, and I'll find out that 15.55 grams of benzene takes up a space of 17.7 cubic centimeters, okay? All right, we're halfway there. Let's head back over to the silver side of things. So now we know how much volume we want to fill. We know the density, but we don't know the mass. So again, density equals mass over... So 10.5 gram. So we have to multiply both sides by 17.7 cubic centimeters. A little scrunched in here. should have rewritten it, sorry. 17.7 cubic centimeters. Cubic centimeters by cubic centimeters cancel out. Leaves us with grams for our mass. Cool, which is what we're looking for. 17.7 divided by 17.7 cancels out. Leaves us with mass. Cool, that's what we're looking for. Pump that into our calculator, and we will get a solution of 185.8 grams. So, since silver is much more dense than benzene, this 17.7 .7 cubic centimeters of benzene has a mass of just 15.5 grams. The same space, the same 17.7 .7, uh, cubic centimeters of silver, however, 
has a much greater mass of 185.8 grams. That's it.